the relation between the quantities there are two types of relation between the quantities the two quantities may be directly proportional to each other may be inversely proportional to each other in a directly proportional quantity what does it means it means if we increase one quantity the other quantity will also increase so if you increase one quantity the other quantity will also increase same thing if we decrease one quantity the other quantity will also decrease what we call we call this as a directly proportional relation example if you have a rubber say a rubber a rubber band is there and you are applying force on this rubber band if i apply greater force then there will be a greater change in the length or greater increase in size of the rubber band so if we are increasing one quantity the other quantity is also increasing what we call we call them as directly proportional but to be a directly proportional quantity not only increasing one quantity and the other is also increasing is the rule what you have to check whenever two quantities are directly proportional the ratio between the quantities is constant when you take a ratio between the two quantities if a ratio is coming out constant then you will say that they are directly proportional otherwise you will not say that they are directly proportional example if i am saying i have two quantities one is a force and another one is a change in the length change in the length means extension uh force was 10 extension was 2 force is 20 extension is 4 force is uh 40 extension is 20 or 8 here now if a question is from this table identify whether the two quantities are directly proportional you can see here when you are increasing the force force is 10 20 and 40 extension is also increasing if you, if you increase one quantity other quantity is also increasing but what is the criteria to be directly proportional that whenever they are directly proportional the ratio should be constant so when i take the ratio means one quantity divided by the other i should get the constant answer so when i am taking a ratio here when i will take this ratio for 10 divided by 20 what will be the ratio 5 20 divided by 4 what will be the ratio 5 40 divided by 8 what is the ratio 5 so whenever the ratio is constant if you are increasing one quantity the other is also increasing or if you are decreasing one quantity the other is also decreasing and the ratio remain constant then we call that these quantities are directly proportional to each other and mathematically how we write this this is a mathematical notation like you write in as an equation you will say f then proportionality sign and then e it means if i increase force extension will increase if i decrease force the extension will also decrease 
So if the ratio is constant, we call that quantity to be directly proportional quantities or relation to be directly proportional. So one increasing, other should also increase and the ratio must be kept constant. But what about inversely proportional quantities? For inversely proportional quantities, If we increase one quantity and the other quantity will decrease, then we call this relation as inversely proportional relation. Example of inversely proportional, if you have a gas inside the container, the gas is there of volume V. But I compress the container, I apply more pressure on the container. So if I increase the pressure, the volume of the gas will decrease. So if we increase the pressure, the volume will decrease. You can see here, one is increasing and another one is decreasing. We call inversely proportional. But this is not only the case. If two quantities are inversely proportional, then the product of the two quantities must be constant. So if the product is constant, then we, if one is increasing, the other is decreasing and the product is constant, we can say that these quantities are inversely proportional. So if I say you have a table in which pressure is there and the volume is there, pressure is 100, uh, volume is 2 or 20, uh, pressure is 200, volume is 10. Pressure is 400, volume is 5. Now, you can see here, one quantity is increasing, but the other quantity is decreasing. But how you can show that they are inversely proportional? So to be inversely proportional quantity, one increase, other decrease, and the product should be kept constant, like the product should be constant. So when I take a product, I should get a constant result. So when I take a product 100 multiplied by 20, which is equal to 2000, 200 multiplied by 10 is also equal to 2000, 400 multiplied by 5 is also equal to 2000. So you can see here, when I take a product of these two quantities, I'm getting a constant answer. So whenever the product of the two quantities is constant, we call and one is increasing and other is decreasing, we call they are inversely proportional and how we write inversely proportional quantity, we represent P inversely proportional. So it will be one over V. So what does it mean? It means if I increase the pressure, this is a mathematical notation. If I increase the pressure, the volume will decrease. But in this one, if I increase the force, the extension will also increase. So Sometime in paper six, you have to identify a relation between the quantities from the table. So if you, how you'll identify first, you will check if you're changing one quantity, what happened to other, if both are increasing or both are decreasing, then you will find the ratio. If ratio is constant, it means they are directly proportional. But if one of the quantities increasing and the other is decreasing, then you to know whether they are inversely proportional, then you will find the product, if the product is constant, it means they are inversely proportional to each other. Uh, any doubt in this? Take a screenshot. Any doubt? Abdurrahman, I cannot hear you if you want to say something. Then, first
from the graph how we can identify so from graph sometimes the graph is given the table is not there but the graph is there so if they are directly proportional then number 1 what it should be a straight line graph and start from origin so if it's a straight line graph and start from origin then we will call that as directly proportional quantities so this this is a graph and when you sketch or plot a graph it is a straight line so if it's a straight line graph between the two quantities like one is on x axis another one on y axis and it is starting from origin this is a point 0 and 0 is known as the origin so then we say it is a directly proportional quantity but if it is inversely proportional quantity it should be a curve and product of two quantities at any point should be same so if we have a graph between the two quantities which are inversely proportional so one of the quantity is x another one is y so it will be a curve this curve will be there but its curve is not enough what is the second criteria product of two points should be same that means if i take any two points example i took first point here i took this as a first point and this as a second point so product of the two quantities at any point should be same means i will find the value of x and the value of the y and same way i will find for second point i will find the value of x and value of y so when i multiply these values i should get the same answer example this was 2 and this is 5 so 2 multiply by 5 what i will get i will get 10 same way if i take another point any point it's up to you you can take any point so when i multiply that point like example this was 10 example this is 10 and this is 1 so when i multiply so it will be 10 multiplied by 1 which is equals to 10 so it should be a curve and the product of two quantities at the point or at any point it should be same or constant so a straight line graph which is starting from origin shows directly proportional a curve where the product of the two quantities is constant we call that as inversely proportional quantities so this inversely proportional quantity or concept is actually related to paper 6 because you may have some time a graph and you have to identify a relation if it's a straight line and starting from origin you will say they are directly proportional if it's a curve and the not only the curve is alone is okay but curve and the product of the two quantities at any point is same it means that they are inversely proportional shows that when you are increasing one quantity the other quantities 
decrease it. Uh, you can take the screenshot or the picture. I will share another link once this will end the session.